Now, there's no better way for me to illustrate why this is so important than by letting you into our marriage for a moment. When Beth and I married, we were a few things. Number one, we were young, we were hopelessly in love, and we were terribly inexperienced at marriage. Anyone ever been there? Okay. As a result, I walked into our marriage with a lot of wrong ideas of what it meant to be married. I'm going to get a little vulnerable for a minute. Okay, don't make me feel like a naked man up here on stage spilling my heart, and you're just looking on mocking. Okay, let me give you a few ways that I had a lot of wrong ideas about what it meant to be married. No joke. I thought that at the end of the day, when we would climb in bed together, and I'm not going where you think I'm going, okay? But I, uh, I thought, I'll get there in a minute, but I thought that... Uh, married couples just cuddled up. I thought that's what you did. I thought you slept near one another. I remember we got home from our honeymoon and I looked over on the other side of the king, queen size and Beth couldn't be as far away from me as, as she, she was as far as she could possibly be. And I look over and I'm like, what are you doing? I didn't, probably didn't say it like that. It's probably much more rude in the way that I said it. I said, what are you doing? And she said, I'm going to bed. And no joke, for the last 19 years when we climb in bed, Beth does Two things at the end of the day. She reads and she sleeps. And as a result, she is far more intelligent and far better rested than I am, okay? (laughs) That's what she does. And I had to exchange that wrong idea for new ideas. I thought, maybe I know I'm the only one in here who thought this, but I thought when I walked into marriage that the kitchen would just clean itself and the laundry would just launder itself. And Beth had to help me put those childish ways behind me, okay? Any ladies in here have to help your husbands put those childish ways behind him? Okay, now I'll go where you thought I was going. I assumed that all married couples spend a significant percentage of their waking hours belly button to belly button, if you know what I mean. And who would have known that men and women experience varying levels of sexual desire? I had no idea, but it's true. Don't make me feel like a vulnerable man up here, okay? (laughs) Some of you, you're like, are you an idiot? You thought the very same thing, okay? I don't know who you are. Okay, number four, finally. I assume that even when we children, when children came into our lives, we would still have quiet evenings, uninterrupted conversation, and plenty of discretionary resources. Anyone ever been there? Right? Yeah. Raise your hand if you've ever been there. That way I can keep teaching this morning, okay? One of those ideas resonate with you? All right, all right. Now, I could have held on to my erroneous ideas about marriage, and do you know what would have happened 19 years later? I wouldn't have a marriage, would I? I could have spent the last 19 years declaring to Beth that all of her ideas were wrong and my ideas were right. And do you know what would have happened? I wouldn't have a marriage. But I'll let you know what happened over the last 19 years. By the grace of God, God took me on a journey with Beth's help and began to turn upside down many of the wrong ideas about marriage so that I could have a healthy, vibrant, joy-filled, mutual marriage. And as a result, I stand here before you not declaring we have a perfect marriage, but I'm happier than ever in my relationship with Beth. And I think she would say the same, but you can ask her. 